While it is true that German manufacturers like BMW, Audi, Porsche, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, and others have engineered some of the most luxurious, sporty, and stylish vehicles in history. There have also been instances where certain models from these manufacturers were considered the worst German cars ever built. These vehicles not only had unappealing designs, but also suffered from severe engineering flaws. Who would have thought that there would be a day when people would look up German cars you should avoid? Make sure to stick with us till the end to find out more about this, as in today's video, we've compiled a list of the 5 worst German car engines you should avoid. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 1. Trabant Taking the first spot on our list today, we have the Trabant, produced in East Germany by VEB Sachsenring Automobilwerk Zwickau. The Trabant, often referred to as the Trabi, isn't just one of the worst German cars of all time. It's one of the worst cars from any country. It was offered over four generations between 1957 and 1991, starting with the Trabant P50 500, followed by the Trabant 600, Trabant 601, and ending with the Trabant 1.1. Of these, the 601 was the longest lived running from 1964 to 1990. Produced without major changes for nearly 30 years, the Trabant became the most popular car in East Germany. It came to symbolize the nation during the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, as images of East Germans crossing the border into West Germany were broadcast all over the world. Despite its unique place in German automotive culture, it is widely recognized for its numerous design and engineering flaws. The two-stroke engine of the Trabant was among its most notable drawbacks. This type of engine, which was frequently used in small, inexpensive cars at the time, had several disadvantages. The engine produced a very smoky exhaust and was a significant source of air pollution, nine times the hydrocarbons and five times the carbon monoxide emissions of the average 2007 European car. Additionally, the two-stroke engine required a mixture of oil and fuel to be burned together, which meant that Trabant needed oil to be added regularly, often every time the gas tank was refilled. Another major flaw of the Trabant was its fuel system. Unlike most cars, the Trabant did not have a fuel pump. Instead, the fuel tank was situated above the engine, and the fuel was fed into the carburetor by gravity. While this design was simple, it also had its downsides. The lack of a fuel pump made it difficult to continuously supply fuel to the engine, especially while driving uphill or in stressful conditions. This, combined with the car's relatively low power output, resulted in poor acceleration and sluggish performance. The Trabant's general build quality and materials were likewise substandard. Reliability was terrible, and it was loud, slow, and poorly designed. Duroplast, a type of reinforced plastic, was used to create the car's body. While the use of this material was an attempt to overcome the scarcity of steel in East Germany at the time, it resulted in a vehicle that was prone to rust and had poor crash safety ratings. The interior of the Trabant was basic and lacked many of the features and comforts typically found in other cars from the same era. The vehicle had no air conditioning, no indicator for turn signals or brake lights, and could only reach a maximum speed of 62 miles per hour. Older Trabant models have gained prominence among collectors all over the world, but they're still one of the worst German cars ever built. Number 2. Audi All-Road C5 The original Audi All-Road based on the C5 Audi A6 was indeed a unique vehicle that aimed to combine off-road capability with luxury. But the reliability issues were absolutely horrendous and basically ruined everything the A6 wagon had to offer. The reliability of the All-Road was one of the major drawbacks. Despite offering a decent amount of power, the 2.7-liter V6 engine was known for having reliability issues. 
The placement of components and the engine's intricate structure made servicing and repairs difficult. This led to increased maintenance costs and frustration for owners who had to deal with frequent breakdowns. The early version of Audi's Tiptronic automatic transmission, which was known for having a high failure rate, was another big issue. This transmission was paired with a 2.7-liter V6 engine in the all-road, further worsening the reliability issues. The original all-road had some shortcomings in terms of driving dynamics. The engine's output was deemed sluggish, and the overall driving experience lacked the thrill and sportiness, for which Audi is frequently praised. Additionally, the air suspension, which was designed to offer a comfortable ride and off-road ability, was not without its issues. It could be prone to breakdowns and pricey maintenance, further lowering the appeal of the vehicle. The only advantages of buying this car are its cost and design. Aside from this, it has a lot of drawbacks and reliability issues which make you think twice if you should buy it or not. Number 3. BMW 5 Series GT Rare as it may be, BMW has gifted us with one of the worst German cars ever built by making this half-sedan, half-SUV that ends up looking more like a vehicular hunchback of Notre Dame. The BMW 5 Series Gran Turismo merged ideas from the 5 Series, X6, and 7 Series into one car. In theory, that sounds like a recipe for success. But the car's design choices and lack of purpose make it one of the worst German cars ever built. It rides higher than a regular 5 Series, and it's also taller. But then the roof slopes off like in the X6 and also has a liftback tailgate. While its specs and components may ring true to the various safety awards and reliability the car truly does have to offer, it's still a pretty terrible car in the long run. Additionally, the 5 Series GT also costs a whopping $70,000 and over which will only end up costing you more money in the long run after all those gas payments are met on useless miles. Number 4. Volkswagen Golf MK4 Even though the Volkswagen Golf Mark IV, officially released in 2001, was the best-selling vehicle of the year, it has a reputation for being one of the worst German cars ever built in terms of design and reliability, all thanks to the Golf Mark IV. It marked the beginning of the compact car. The boxy-shaped sporty rides with hatchbacks, which eventually gained popularity in the automotive sector. Unlike what you may have pictured in your mind, the Golf came out looking like a fusion of a golf cart and a large UPS shipping box. Although the Golf Mark IV was a commercial success, it faced challenges in terms of safety and reliability. According to reports, Volkswagen's overall safety ratings were apparently dropping at the time, and the Golf Mark IV added to the brand's damaged reputation. The car was criticized for not having as many cutting-edge safety measures as its rivals. Some owners reported problems with electrical systems, engine parts, and many other mechanical issues. These reliability issues turned out to be a major setback for Volkswagen and affected their brand reputation for years to come. Number 5. Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe Usually, when we think of Mercedes-Benz, we think of exceptional performance and luxury. Most of the time, the car maker lives up to our expectations. But that was not the case with the Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe. When it was first introduced, the C-Class sedan made a big splash because of its striking redesign and tech features. But over time, the model became known for its poor predicted reliability ratings and owner dissatisfaction. The C-Class coupe, as it was called, really had no reason to exist. It simply wasn't worth the money because it was less functional than the sedan version and looked ugly. Its two-door design restricted access to the back seat and compromised rear headroom and legroom. Additionally, the trunk space was smaller compared to the sedan, which made it less practical for everyday use, particularly for those who required extra baggage space or frequently transported passengers in the back seats. So that's about it for the worst German engines to avoid buying. 
German car manufacturers are renowned for their top quality, luxurious, well-engineered vehicles that often set industry standards. But even they make mistakes. Do you think German manufacturers still deserve their reputation for building the most reliable cars? Let us know in the comments section. With that, we've reached the end of this video. Thanks for hanging in there till the end. If you've liked this video, do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for more exciting content. We'll see you in the next video.